<laughs> Good morning, guys. Just a quick iPhone video. I wanted to share some information with you, but a quick shout out to Scotty Make Stuff and Onar Battelle from YouTube. They're the ones who shared the information with me. Uh, and also Juntek, they uh, reached out to me on Facebook. What this is about is trying to get the motion sensor remote control for the Crane 2 working. The manual on this thing isn't that great, uh, but the information that they shared with me helped me get this going. I usually tell people when they have trouble that it's usually just a button. I should have followed my own advice. It's just a couple of buttons. Let me help you get this thing going on the Crane 2. All right, let's get started. After installing the Servo Follow Focus, balance the Crane 2. The Servo Follow Focus motor automatically starts after you start the Crane 2. The Servo Follow Focus motor works as you turn the wheel on the Crane 2. Go ahead and start the motion sensor remote control. Go to menu and hit scan. Now mine's already connected, but in case it isn't, you're going to hit scan. The crane ID will show up at the top. Right click to select it and you'll get a confirmation that you're connected. Bluetooth is already working. You don't need to enable Bluetooth on any one of these devices. The joystick works after it's connected. The follow focus isn't working right now, but that's because the wheel is turned on. Go to the menu on the Crane 2, go down to wheel, oops, select wheel by right click, go to priority and turn the wheel off. Now the follow focus works. G mode is just as simple. But the G mode function is on the menu on the remote. Go to menu, select G mode by right clicking, and by default, at least on mine, position was selected. Uh, let me go back to menu real quick. It won't work. Hold down the G mode button and nothing happens. Let's go back to menu, select G mode, select speed instead, right click, receive a confirmation, and now hold down the G mode button and G mode works. It follows your motion. Select a different function on the crane too to hold down the G mode button and it works. When you turn off the crane too, servo follow focus motor automatically turns off. Rockin' on lenses and Cena lenses like it have positive stops at infinity and closest focus. The servo fo follow focus motor and the remote don't know that. So be careful as you come close to those positive stops and you risk breaking the little plastic gears. I only hope that those plastic gears will become an accessory from Zuntech. Here's something I want Zuntech to do. I want to buy this wheel so that I can replace this wheel with this more conventional design. I hope to see this wheel as an accessory from Juntech. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, some quick information on how to get the sensor remote working on the crane, too. Um, again, another shout out and thank you to uh, Scotty Make Stuff, Onar Battelle, and Juntech. Uh, without them, I couldn't have figured that out. Uh, it's just a couple of buttons. Stay tuned. Uh, working on some cool stuff for the crane, too. I'm not too concerned about uh, what it's designed to do. We all know that. There's some great reviews and information on YouTube. I want to know what it can do. I'm going to stretch its limits. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.